Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. It will interest you to know that um, there is double nomination hanging on the head of Shatima, uh, a vice presidential candidate elect. And so the, the, that matter has gone to court as courts um, has been told to disqualify the vice president elect as a result of double nomination. And Bawale is saying if the vice <laughs> presidential candidate that was alongside nominated, according to INEC, with Tinobu won the election. Uh, if he's disqualified, Tinobu has automatically been sacked, just like a case of what happened in um, ba Bayesa some time ago, where the deputy governorship candidate dragged down the governorship uh, candidate as a result of disqualification that came. So these are some of the things and issues going on now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Double nomination. If court disqualifies Shatima, Tinubu will be sacked as president-elect, Bawale reveals, as Shatima is dragged to court. It is common knowledge that a presidential candidate of APC, Alaji Atikwa Bubaka, has officially filed a petition in court challenging the declaration of APC Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the winner of the presidential election. Speaking about this development in an interview with Chinese TV, Daniel Bawale, a lawyer and a spokesperson of Alaji Atikwa Bubaka, said part of the PDP prayer of the court is to disqualify Tinubu's running mate, who is now Vice President-elect Kashin Shatima over the bridge of the Electoral Act. According to Bawale, Shat Shatima's nomination to contest the position of Vice President and Borno Central Sanitaria seats controvers the law. He argued that if Shatima is disqualified, Tinubu will also be disqualified and his victory will be upturned, just like in the case of David Leonard, who was sacked as Bayesa governor elect after his running mate Boko Kona was disqualified. It affected the governorship candidate. About 650 minutes in, you can see exactly what has happened as the vice presidential candidate, who is now the vice presidential candidate, who is now the vice president elect, has now has now been taken to court over the double nomination. He also took the, the senatorial form as well as uh, being nominated as vice presidential candidate. And so there are issues. And if he is sacked, okay, if he's sacked, guess what? He, uh, uh, Tinubu will also be going. It's just that in Nigeria, people, when the, when the law suits them, they read it the way they want. When it does not suit them, then they turn it the other way, you know. So these are some of the things that occur and happen. And you and I can see that this is the real problem staring us all in the face. As Nigerians, as people, every single one of us must understand that there is, you know, there is all kinds of words and things that we should put in place in order for us as a nation and as a people to have a headway. The people you taught, you know, mean well for this nation and are rising up to the occasion. Really sincerely speaking, have you checked them? Are they arrowheads or they are destroyers? Are they those who can build? Are they those who have a heart for this nation, who are sincere, working hard to see that things change and, you know, things, you know, move up in the right direction? Is it those kind of people we have? Or we have selfish interest set of people who are only after themselves. So when we look at the whole issue and everything ongoing, we know that as a nation and as a people, if Nigeria is going to become a great nation and things are going to change and we are going to have a better lease of life, then the time is now. Okay, the time is now. Anyway, you can see for yourself that um, every time, you know, people neglect the opportunity to show Okay, and to be able to um, reveal where they stand in terms of national unity and truth and justice, then there is issue. 
you know this man not double nomination you know uh say synonymous to cancellation together well guess what in nigeria you will see somebody like the senate president hamed lawa who did not uh, buy or participate in an uh, in a in a senate uh, uh you know senatorial nomination interest position we come up to become the senatorial candidate for a party and a place he did not even participate in things like this are things that happen in nigeria and every single person is really asking themselves how did we get here where do we go from here do we have honest and sincere, truthful people who are ready to change the course of what is on ground and work at it to ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place. Every time there is an opportunity for us to ensure we, 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 we navigate in the position of changing the course of what is on ground and we do nothing about it. Sweetheart, I tell you what we've done. We've been an opportunity to those who want to destroy this nation, to have a foothold, to have a headway and to misbehave and to destroy what really brings us together as a nation and as a people so it is a matter of urgent attention so nobody should sit back there and think that things cannot truly change okay and think that things cannot truly change anyway my lovely wonderful people if you want to really consider okay, if you want to really look at things and ensure that there is honesty and sincerity that time to begin to you know gauge things and ensure that they are done properly decently and in order that time is now every single one of us knows that there is you know something not right and we have to specifically put things right back on track so that as a nation as a people we can have the ideal you know the ideal nation that we all envisage so that we can truly you know move forward and have a change remember it's up to you and i yes it's up to you and i we cannot uh, pretend that everything is all right, all is not well, okay, we, all is not well, we just need to, uh, uh, we just need to ensure that we do human, all that is not needed, humanly speaking, possible to change the course of what is on ground, yes, remember, it is in our hands, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, God bless, have a fantastic and a lovely day, from us is bye for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.